welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be really fun to do a tag video. Um, this is kind of more for me and like future me and like just kind of memories I guess. Um, but today I want to do the pregnancy tag. Um, I haven't mentioned it in quite a few videos but I did announce a while back that I am pregnant. Um, I have, I'm just about at my third trimester um, so things are starting. They're getting there. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a fun tag to do. It's a fun video to have for memory's sake. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So question number one, how and when did you find out you were pregnant? Okay, I actually found out it was the end of May. So May like 30th probably. It was right before my birthday. And I knew I was like kind of late, but I my, my period's kind of irregular anyway. Um, or at least it has been, um, since I stopped taking birth control, and, um, so it had happened a couple times where it was kind of late, and then I would start, so it would just be like, my period would be late, and then I would take a pregnancy test, and it would still be negative, so it was just kind of like, whatever, like, I'm not getting my hopes up, like, I'm not worried about it. Um, but finally, I was like, you know, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a test, get it over with, it might be a little early, whatever. Um, so I went ahead and took the test and it was positive. Um, I was actually like just in our downstairs bathroom and the pregnancy tests were like in the laundry room. So I grabbed it, took it. It was really funny because my husband was home. So he was in the living room just kind of like hanging out. And so I read that it was positive and I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to tell him. So I like kind of peeked my head out of the bathroom and I was like, hey. He was like, what's up? And I was like, come here. And he like came down the hall and was like standing outside the bathroom door and I was like, guess what and like showed him and it was like ah. I actually still have have the test and and it still still says pregnant it still says pregnant so that's good <laughs> but yeah I kept that how did you feel um I was really excited we've been trying for a while and we really wanted to have originally when we came to Spain we wanted to wait until we moved back to the states to have a child and then we ended up staying here longer than we thought we were going to and I've always wanted kids, I've always wanted to have a family. So finding out that I was finally pregnant after we had kind of been trying for a while, it was kind of like, I was so excited, so relieved that everything was okay and everything was working good. Um, so yeah, I was just really excited. How old were you? I was actually 26 still when I found out because my birthday was like two days later. Um, but I was, I'm 27 now, but I was 26 technically when I found out that I was pregnant. Did you wait three months to tell people why or why not? Um, I told like my parents and like we told our grandparents um, and like that kind of thing. Um, I told like my best friend that I talked to every day and then I kind of waited a little bit to tell everybody else and to tell like the rest of the family. Um, it was kind of one of those things like nowadays like you can't just like, I feel like it's courtesy to, like, tell people that are, like, I guess more important before you post something like that on, like, social media. So, like, we told, like, the immediate people that we wanted to tell, and then we kind of, like, waited the three months. And then once everything was kind of like, okay, like, we're in the clear, it was kind of like, okay, well, let's tell everybody else. Like, we've told everybody, like, immediate that we need to tell, so let's post it and be done. Is this your first? Yes, this is our first. A little girl. Um, we're pretty positive what her first name's gonna be, but we're still kind of debating on the middle name. It kind of changes like every day. Do you want more? I would at least like a girl and a boy. Um, so I guess however many it takes to get to that. Um, my husband's kind of set on three. So if we're still at three girls by the time we get to three, I think he's gonna be okay with pushing his luck for a boy. Um, so we'll see, but I would at least like one of each. And I think... I guess if I have a boy next, then I guess depending on how we feel with two, we'll decide if we actually go to three. So we'll see. What is your biggest craving? Number eight. Um, I feel like pizza's probably been my biggest craving. Uh, I've definitely been eating a lot of pizza, that's for sure. Um, it's funny, like when my husband's at work, I will make like little tortilla pizzas for me, so I'm not like eating a whole pizza by myself because one time I was like, you know, I really want like real crust pizza. And so I made one of the like DiGiorno ones and then I got through half of it and I was like, I could probably eat the rest of this for all I wanted to, but I was like, no, 
pace yourself. There's always dessert. What's the best part of being pregnant? Um, I don't know, I guess just being pregnant. I mean, I, f I feel like a lot of people say is like, oh, you get to eat whatever you want and all that stuff, but I don't, I'm trying to like, my, my doctors want me to keep my weight like in check for this pregnancy. Um, I know a lot of people just kind of go overboard and that kind of thing, so I've been trying to keep myself like good. Um, even with my pizza and ice cream, McFlurry making. Um, but I guess the best part is just being pregnant and knowing that I have my own little girl growing inside of me and that she'll be here in a few months and yeah, she's really exciting. What's the worst part of being pregnant? Number 10. Um, I'm kind of at that point now where like even my maternity clothes don't fit the most comfortably, so I guess just like being comfortable in general is kind of probably the worst part about being pregnant. I haven't, I've been really lucky. I didn't really have terrible morning sickness, none of that. Um, I've gotten really lucky. I haven't had too much like pain, soreness, that kind of thing. Um, I do feel a little back pain every now and then, that kind of thing, but nothing like too terrible. So I guess the worst part is just that nothing really fits comfortably and like having to buy like new bras and like underwear and that kind of stuff, just finding stuff that's comfortable. And like I'm still going to work every day so I still have to look like presentable most days. So I have to actually wear real clothes. I can't just wear like sweatpants and t-shirts every day like I would like to. So there's that, that's probably the worst. <laughs> Will you find out the gender? What do you prefer? Okay, so number 11, we did find out the gender and it's a girl. Um, I didn't really have a preference for the first child because I want one of each anyway. So this is the first one I'll be picking next time. Um, but it was kind of funny because we had a little boy's name picked out that we really liked, but neither one of us were sure of a girl name we liked. So we were like, I kind of like, I was like, oh, it's going to be a boy. Like, I feel like it's going to be a boy. And then we went to that appointment to find out what it was. And it was a girl. And it was kind of like momentary, like, crap, I have to pick a girl name. But it's still exciting, so. Do you have a name picked out and what are the stories behind them? Number 12. Um, we do have a name, a first name picked out. Um, we were kind of torn between like two names and then we kind of decided one sounded more like a little sister name. So if we had another girl, we kind of wanted to save it for later. Um, and then, like I said before, we're not really sure on a middle name yet. Um, there's not really a story behind the name. We just liked it. Um, I don't think I'm ready to divulge that information yet, so I'm going to hold it in. Um, but I'll keep you posted if you want to know what it is or if you want to guess down below. Feel free! Um, and if you're a family member watching this and you already know, shh, your pie hole. Okay, okay. What is your birth plan? Um, I haven't really gotten that far in deciding yet. Um, basically, my biggest thing is as long as baby gets out healthy and safely and I'm healthy and I'm safe, however means necessary to get baby out is fine with me. Um, I would be completely fine with a natural birth or a C-section, whichever is necessary when the time comes, so I'm really not picky. Will you breastfeed? I would like to breastfeed. I'm definitely going to try. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to breastfeed at least for the first couple months. I would like to try and see how it goes, and then I guess I'll just go from there. Do you plan to work or be a stay-at-home mom? Um, right now, I'm actually still working. We are going back to the States shortly after baby is born. So my plan is to kind of take a year off, and I do want to go back to school to get my master's so I can get my teaching certificate. So my plan is to take that year, kind of like acclimate with baby, study what I need to study to take the exams that I need to take to apply to get my master's degree and go back to school, and then take those next couple years to start school once we get settled somewhere and get my certifications done and that kind of thing and then eventually I would like to go back to work and teach. You make your own baby food. Um, maybe? I keep reading about baby lead weaning and I've actually watched a few vloggers, like family vloggers that I watched have done um, the baby lead weaning and I think it looks really cool and it's a really interesting process and I kind of like that idea more than feeding my baby mush after breast milk. Um, not that there's anything wrong with mush because I love applesauce as much as the next person. Um, but I just feel like getting baby to eat better and long term, like getting them to actually like eat anything, like eat food and not be so picky, hopefully, 
Um, I would really like to try that method, so we'll see how that goes. Do you have nursery ideas or themes? Um, we don't really have a nursery plan now because we're leaving so soon after baby, so we have the crib picked out that we want. Um, we have a bassinet playpen temporary while we're still here with baby. And then once we get back and figure out what we're doing, then we can get more into nursery decorating. Um, I really love Peter Pan, if you didn't notice. So I thought it'd be really cute to do something like Peter Pan, Wish Upon a Star themed, that kind of direction. So we shall see when the time comes when I can actually do that. Okay, so that was the last question on my tag video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this will be fun to watch when baby is older and she can see how things were before she came along. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more mom-related videos, please comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!